This is a first impressions video from a noob. Your discretion is advised. Oi Gets, Commissar Bro here today with one of the newest Warhammer games to come out. This being Adeptus Titanicus Dominus from Membrane Studios. That's right. It just released into early access today and is a pretty interesting title starting out. There's a lot to say about this game. For example, the fact that I'm probably about to lose because this guy's already got three points. Yeah, secure three of the, or destroy all enemy to win. So basically, I got to try to take this guy down before I lose. So... What is Adeptus Titanicus Dominus? It is a game in the Warhammer 40,000 universe focusing on the Titan Legions, uh, the great battles that will go on between the uh, Imperium of Man and the Forces of Chaos. Specifically, which time period this is in, if this is like 30k or actually 40k, I'm not quite sure yet. Not a whole lot of details have been released in terms of what the campaign is going to be about and so on and so forth. But what we do know is there's a variety of Titans to choose from, whether it's a, a Warlord Titan such as this big fella here, or a Reaver Titan, which is, you know, a little bit the mid-sized guy. And then you've got a tiny Warhound. I'm also wondering if they're going to have larger Titans, because there are bigger Titans than um, the Warlord. And, and I'm specifically thinking of, like, the Imperator Titans. Now, uh, again, I do want to go ahead and apologize for any 40k buffs out there. I am not an expert on Titan Legions by any means of the imagination. Um, I tend to know more about Space Marines or the Imperial Guard or the Necrons and so on. The actual Titans, I don't know a whole lot about just because of the fact that there's a lot to say about them. And it's just something I've never really delved into. With the new lore that's coming out, though, they're very quickly becoming a more interesting uh, faction that's going to be... I think they're even coming out with a whole new tabletop game for them. So that's going to be really interesting. But anyway, let's talk more about the game. The actual game itself is turn-based strategy in the similar vein as Battletech or uh, if you've played Starhammer, the Vanguard Prophecy, or even Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Now, where it's it's different from games like Battletech, for example, um, each person in this case takes their turn. Uh, whereas in the other game it's about initiative, in this one you choose which person you want to move and then your opponent moves one and then you can move one and then they move one so on until a full-blown turn is over. Now, I will say the uh, mechanics are interesting in the sense that you're going to notice uh, the ranges are a lot smaller than, say, this gun would give away. Um, personally, I was thinking that this Titan should be able to slug it out with this guy from that distance. I guess for balance reasons, that wouldn't make too much sense. Uh, so you actually have to get a lot closer. Pretty much this is being the engagement range. But uh, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go ahead and pick this Reaver here. We're going to choose our sustained fire. Pretty much our all fire, no movement action. We're going to focus on this guy. And we're going to commit that order. We want to try to take him down as fast as humanly possible. Uh, because we don't want him taking that point. Because if he takes that point and succeeds in holding that point for a full turn, I imagine we lose. And I really don't want to lose. Oh, wow. We killed him in one shot. I love it. So that is one dead enemy Titan. We now have a slight advantage over our opponents. But they are slugging it out on our poor little our poor little guy there in the front. Our little Warhound. He's getting shot in the face. Oh, no. Our Warhound's down. So there goes our advantage. So I do want to remind everyone this is an early access title. I don't want to give a full-blown review of a game that is not complete. Uh, but I will give my opinions on if I think things are good or bad. So far, my impressions of the game are mostly positive. I'm not going to say it's the best game I've ever played, because it's definitely not. But at the same point in time, I see a lot of potential coming out of this game. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to reach that. That's, that's particularly unfortunate. Or we could just we could march, which would allow us to move all the way over there. Or no, no, we can do the secondary, double. We're going to move double time. We're going to get here. And who are we going to focus on? I guess we're going to try to two pot shots at this dude over here. But we're probably not going to hit him. He's too far away, I would imagine. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can get to this part here. And then we can try opening fire on that guy. Yeah, that's close enough. Let's commit that order. So we're going to try to move our Warhound as quick as possible. Secure that objective so we don't lose. Boom, there we go. So now we have one. Whereas they have two. So, anyway... 
Uh, we've done that. It is now our opponent's turn, and they are moving this Titan here in the back, but they've basically blocked themselves off. Of course, units can't really go through each other entirely, so you got to be very careful. Is he shooting his own guys? If so, that would be... Oh my god! He just one-shot my hound! What is this game? That's disgusting. Alright, so let's try to take our little hound here. And he's going to just... Can he focus fire? Yeah, he can reach them. He's going to... He's got a Vulcan Mega Bolter. And he has a Plasma Blast Gun. So we're just going to go ahead, full sustain fire, open fire on that little war hound. And try to take him down. Okay, wait a minute. Why is he not firing? Am I not close enough? I thought I was. Well, I basically just wasted my turn. I was sure I was close enough. Whatever, no big deal. Alright, well we're going to move up. And our Titan is definitely going to open up a can of whoop-ass on that poor little Warhound. Where he's not going to have a chance in hell. Or it's just going to walk at him very, very slowly. Thus making me look like I'm full of crap. Okay? Maybe something's going on that I don't quite understand. <laughs> Yet this Titan is shooting me from a distance. Seems legit. Makes sense. Well, you can't be too mad. Again, it's early access, and I'm honestly probably doing something wrong. It has never been past me to make mistakes in these games, that's for sure. However, now we're in a very strange position. So, what can we do? We could try to double time it, get to the point, and then open fire on this fella here. It gives us a minus one for all shooting attacks and puts us in a vulnerable position with these Titans over here. However, we also need to capture that point because if they get that point, which they are getting very close to doing so, we will still lose the game. Now, of course, I'm not really playing this to win, but it's looking kind of bleak. We've already lost two guys, three guys, and we've only killed one. Then again, I would argue the game doesn't want me to win because I definitely opened fire on that little bastard. So, let's say, let's do this. We're going to go ahead and, no, I really need to move down there. Ah, indecision takes the best of me. Whatever. We're just going to expose ourselves there. Just put ourselves up for the meat grinder to be blasted away. We're going to open up fire on the dude moving down the middle. Commit order. There we go. See, now we're shooting. Let's make it, okay. We're shooting the wall, though. <laughs> Which I figured that was actually going to be a thing, is that the cover was going to block. But we did a little bit of damage to our enemy, and it is now his turn. Let's just take a moment to look at this architecture. I love it. And he's shooting at my little guy. My guy's like, I got a shield, bruh. You ain't stopping me no time soon. Hopefully that shield stays up. They've once again taken a third point, and my titan no longer has a shield and is damaged. That's no bueno. No bueno at all. Let's see. Uh, I guess we're going to have to, like, double time and open fire on this fella here as well. Yep, commit order. Move up, move up. Blast the bastard. Blast him. Honestly, we're probably going to lose this turn, but this is no big deal. Honestly, I'm just trying to show the game. And if I lose, hey, I never claim to be a saint. That's for sure. What else do they have to move? All right, they're moving another warlord up. And soon he'll be within range to take my guy down. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Alright, so my shields are down. And we have one last Titan we can move for this turn. We can try to sprint him there, but he's still not going to get to the objective uh, to be able to stop the enemy from winning. But such is life. And at least we got to actually take a look at some of the gameplay first. And that actually brings us to some further points in the game. What else is there? Well, if we lose this on this turn, we can talk about uh, some of the customization options of your Titans and to show what Titans are currently available in the game. Which, again, it's these three, but you also have uh, of three different variants for each type of Titan that's currently in it. Now, I'm still learning... Yeah, defeat, of course. I'm still learning what each weapon does and its effectiveness in the game. So let's actually go take a look at what we can customize. We're going to click Skirmish. And as you can see, there's going to be a weekly challenge campaign. There are currently scenarios. What we just did was a only a Skirmish, nothing more. All right, so here we are. And first off, as you can see here, you have four different... Uh, legions that you can choose from basically four different skins so you've got the Ostodax, you've got the griffin griffinicus griffinicus the crucius and the astorum 
And then you have three different variants of each model of Titan to go along with that. So we have one here, the Mars pattern. Mars, well, I guess they're all Mars pattern, but they have different weapons on them. I thought it was actually going to be more specific towards that. I kind of can't wait to see what other patterns they have then. Uh, and what other Titans they plan on adding into the game. Because again, I know there's more Titans out there. And if they're showing here that they're like a Reaver Mars pattern, there's other Forge worlds. And there's probably different patterns for each one of those worlds. So I wonder how in-depth they're really going to go with this game. And that's actually something I really hope to see. Now, I do kind of hope they actually improve up some of the animations a little bit as well. They're not bad by any means of the imagination. Very simplistic, and that's okay. It's a small company, and, you know, they're still kind of getting their foot in the door, as it were. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what they do end up coming out with in the future. You can also see here it shows the stats for each one of your Titans. Uh, so speed, damage capacity, armor, close combat, firefight. Uh, more specifically, firefight indicates how effective the unit is in a close quarters battle, which occurs when two units come within firefight range of each other. However, they also have melee capabilities in close combat, so they can literally go hand to hand. So that kind of makes me hope that in the finished product, you're gonna see um, you're gonna see like reavers with chain swords and stuff like that. You're probably more familiar with like Imperial Knights, where Imperial Knights have a lot of uh, weapons like that, or if you've played the most recent Dawn of War 3, you can kind of see that in action. Uh, further stats that it shows, shows the range of your weapons, it shows the rate of fire, how many shots it's going to have per movement, essentially. Um, you're also going to see how well it is against, um, in this soft target, so like space marines or light vehicles that are running around. Uh, it's anti-tank capabilities against armor targets like tanks and war engines, and pretty much that's about it. It also kind of like for example, the barrage weapon, the apocalypse launcher, it, that's 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 about where it is. Those are all the stats, and then you've got a unit cost. You have a total cost you can spend per level. In this particular case, 5,000 is the current limit, and then you choose where your guys are going to spawn. So, uh, for example, if I want all three of my heavy titans on one flank, I can do that. I can put, for example, I'm going to say these warlords, I'm going to just drag that over and drag that over. And then, boom, I could make a battle out of this. I could have four uh, <laughs> Warlord Titans if I wanted to. So, I actually don't know how the uh, the guy in the last game that we just played managed to get four Warlord Titans out there. Even if you pick the cheaper variant, it still seems like they had more than they should have. But, hey, what do I know? Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro bumbling his way through Adeptus Titanicus Dominus. Take this as a first impressions video, more so than a review video. Again, the game is not out. We don't know entirely what it's all going to entail. But this is definitely a promising first look. And I'm hoping that it ends up being a total blast. So we'll see. But anyway, this has been CB, and I'll see you next time.